we didn't really talk about this, but there is a generation seven implant, which is a lightweight implant and it's called the B light implant. And Patrick, you're probably one of the foremost people in the world that's had quite a bit of experience with B light. The B light implant is a, is an interesting implant. I mean, I've probably been using it for mm -hmm. 10 years. Um, and um, it's it's thirty percent lighter than a standard silicon implant. Why is it lighter? It's lighter because within the silicon gel are little air-filled microspheres. They're borosilicate microspheres, which are bound to the silicone molecules. And that bond between the microspheres and the silicone is extremely strong. In fact, it's stronger than the silicone silicone bond. It's a big deal. A 30% lighter implant will have far less effects of tissue over time. So, so what's but the negative? What's the negative? I mean, but, but, but Rod, you, you know, that's a question you've got to ask your FDA. You know, <laughs> uh, you know, it, it, it's, you know, the, 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 the great thing about regulatory bodies, of course, are there for patient safety, right. but there's a balance between progress and safety and, and, you know, it seems to me that the FDA is 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 so stuck on safety that you'll make no progress. Um, yeah, wow. Well, no, that's and, a note to self, Rod. You need to talk to the FDA <laughs> about yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've talked to them enough.